welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited. I've been meaning to start a channel for so long now and I'm finally doing it. Now it's a bit of a strange one to start off my channel with. Some may argue that it's a negative topic, but I really don't want to see it as a negative topic at all. I want to tell my story on here on YouTube about my diagnosis journey and my chronic illness to try and help and support other people and give them an insight on how they're not alone, that there is light at the end of the tunnel and there is brighter days coming ahead and that I am not a professional. I'm not a professional, I'm not a doctor, I am no rheumatologist, so I will leave a few videos down below that I have got information from. So ankylating spondylitis is a chronic illness. It's an inflammatory disease that actually starts off in um, the base of your spine. I cannot remember those joints and I feel ashamed that I have AS and I don't know those joints. It's, it's like sacro... Sac sacro... I'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> so it starts off in those joints. The inflammation can actually damage your spine and it actually causes the bone to overgrow and ends up fusing your spine. So even before your spine is fused, it can, the inflammation can cause a lot of pain. It can affect you doing everyday tasks such as getting in and out of bed, sitting up off a sofa and sneezing. Oh my God. AS has ruined sneezing for me, like I, I dread when I have a sneeze during a flare up because it's the most painful thing ever. AS can also affect your breathing and you can come across quite breathless and I believe that's due to inflammation causing that. I don't know the scientific side of things, like I said I'll link some information down below. So my diagnosis journey started actually even before I had symptoms. One of my family members actually had symptoms of AS. At the time, we didn't know what it was. So when she was diagnosed, obviously that's when I first heard of the disease and I just, I never forgot it. So fast forward to 2019 is when I first started getting my symptoms of AS. 2019, I was doing my pole fitness. I was quite active. I was exercising regularly. And I believe, even though the pain was completely different to a pulled muscle, I just put it down to a pulled muscle. I mean, you don't feel pain in your back and think it's a chronic illness. So I put it down to a pulled muscle. And that pulled muscle lasted a very long time. The The feeling didn't get any better. Like it would, some mornings I'd wake up and it, it would be there. And then other mornings I'd wake up and it, it wouldn't be there. And I was like, oh, like, yes, it's getting better. And then like a week or so later, I would feel the pain again. The pain came from in the middle of my bum cheek. I just assumed it would, it would get better. I'm young, I'm still young. <laughs> Like, this, my body will fix this, it's fine, it's just, I've injured something doing pole dancing, you know? So the pain actually first started in my right, in the middle of my right bum cheek, and I remember it got really bad to the point where it took me about half an hour to do a 10 minute walk, and that's when I was a bit like, ah, I shouldn't, like, be limping, I shouldn't be struggling with this right now in my late 20s, but... I still just ignored it. I didn't make any connection between this, like my pain and my family member's pain. I never made the connection. It was only until my mum actually noticed me hobbling that she made a comment and I was like, oh yeah, like it's fine. I've just injured myself like from pole. Um, like it's fine, you know. And it wasn't until she told my sister who has AS that 
Charlie's limping around the house. Um, you know, a little bit suspicious. I remember like this memory like it was yesterday. I was actually sitting on my floor by my mirror doing my makeup and my sister pokes her head around the door and said like mum says you're hobbling mum says you're like limping and you're having pains in your back and I was like yeah like you know it's it's nothing I just had my injured myself during pole and she asked me where the pain actually was and I I said it's like in the middle of my bum cheek and um from time to time it kind of it kind of shoots down my leg. And I think that was the time that I first made the connection because I thought it was a bit strange that my sister was asking me all these questions, you know? And in that moment, she was like, I think you should push to go and get a blood test. With a blood test, there is one that you can do that can flag up inflammatory markers, which would be an indication of AS because it's an inflammatory arthritis disease deep down I knew it wasn't just a pulled muscle I, I knew it like it would have healed by now it wouldn't cause me to do a 10 minute walk in a 30 minute time frame or struggling to get out of bed oh that was another thing um before I got diagnosed there would were... oh god it seems so stupid looking back on it now because it's like Charlie you got you, you got stuck on the sofa I got stuck on the sofa I wasn't just sitting upright I was kind of slouched back and I tried to get up and I I couldn't. It was so painful. I tried to sit up, but I was getting that pain in certain positions. I was getting that pain more intense and that shooting pain down my leg again. To the point where I think I ended up like rolling off the sofa. I literally couldn't sit up. From being lying down to like sitting up was a painful movement. So. How did I still believe then it was a pulled muscle? I do not know. That happened all at um, the end of 2019. So now we are in year 2020. I managed to get my blood test, um, which were the inflammatory markers. And they also did a blood test to test for a gene called HLA-B27. Now, let me get one thing straight, you can have this gene and not have AS, but there is a higher chance that if you do carry this gene, you do have AS. The reason for doing these tests is basically uh, trying to point the doctors down in the right direction that if I did have this gene, it could be AS. It was positive. I tested positive for the HLA B27 gene. My GP on the phone, he, he said he wasn't surprised with uh, my family history and my symptoms that I was having. And that was the first time I felt that somebody had my back, that somebody was behind me and pushing me and helping me. And I think with any chronic illness, that's one of the best things that can happen is that somebody understands and supports you that doesn't necessarily understand what's going on, but they support you no matter what. So by this time, um, when I got my blood test results back, I actually felt the pain move over to my left side. The inflammation was getting worse because I felt it. My other psychiatric joint. Also, I, the, another indication that it was getting worse was at the beginning the flare-ups were short and then the period between flare-ups was long and that also started to change. The flare-ups were lasting so much longer and the period of no flare-ups was more or less not there. I think throughout 2020 I felt that dull ache constantly um, and if I didn't feel the dull ache I was in a lot of pain. The next step after having the positive result for the blood test was to see a rheumatologist. This appointment was awful. I was going into that appointment with so much hope that I would get answers and I didn't. 
one of the worst appointments I've ever had. Yeah. So that is it for my first video. Really hope you guys had a bit more insight to the disease and how it can affect people and if you have the disease yourself or if you're going through a similar diagnosis process that this helped you even just like the smallest bit that would be amazing and just a reminder that you are not going through this alone if you do have any questions whatsoever i honestly don't mind if you want to um drop me a message or leave it in the comments down below i will be happy to support you where i can and yeah remember to make healthy choices and look after yourself and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye Thank you.